Alright, where is he? Where's Lil again? Isn't he like on this old little shack thing over here? But seriously, Solomon, anyone could go on that bridge, any of these bridges, and just shoot down like a missile down here. Like, it's not that hard. I guess it just depends if people are willing to do it. I hear you're going to help us. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Lady in the water? What's that? That sounds really creepy, Loyal. <laughs> Ain't nothing creepy about it. It's a term of respect. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Where's the bomber located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. How do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of the lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. It's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Alright, I'm... I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas how to get to the bottom of the lake without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Yeah, that's one of the that's really the only reason to actually do this quest, is because um they give you a rebreather, which basically gives you the ability to just breathe underwater, and you can have it forever. And it's just great to have it. Because it just it allows you to breathe underwater. And you can pretty much do everything now with it. <laughs> oh, right, can't go past through there. Alright, cool, thanks. At some point, I'm gonna have to look up and, like, when we've done all the quests, I need to see if we actually done all the quests and there's nothing else for us to do. Hey. Hi. I. Shut up. Well, said so you can help me out with a breathing, breathing underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Corn, s silk, rubber hose, and removal. Add. Would it make a good? Okay, Sue. So. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Goodbye. Bye. I know science stuff. Alright. Anybody who says that is not knowing science stuff then. It's all the way down here is the thing. So you have to walk all the way down there. And it's just... Ugh. It won't blow me up if I just walk, right? <laughs> I don't know when that lady is supposed to show up. Hopefully soon. Like, she has to walk that whole way, so... I think I followed her one time, too. I was like, well, I guess I'll follow her. <laughs> Don't know where she's at, but hey, she's somewhere. So where the heck do I go? Well, apparently if I go, okay, it's a train. There should be a cutoff point that I can go from here. Also, they still need to find that stupid weapon. Well, that's broken. But yeah, they still need to, we still need to find that weapon within uh, their base. Take it, take it back to uh, Brotherhood of Neil and help them out. Oh no, we have to go through this? Alright. 
Very hard, a hundred lock picking, are you kidding? Wait a minute. Aren't there death claws here? Aren't there death claws? I forgot. Are there death I could have sworn there were death claws here. I totally I think Okay, I'm paranoid now because I think I remember death claws being here. I remember at some point there is a train that you're on. No, it wasn't this. No, it wasn't here. It was higher. But yeah, I remember at one point there was death claws. Let me tell you, it was not fun. I thought they just burned that whole city too. Like, like, eh, whatever. So, let's see. How long is it going to take to go around it like this? Eh, it's going to be a while, so. Get ready for Running Simulator 2000 and something. When did this game come out? What, 2011? I think. When did Fallout New Vegas come out? Who knows? Who knows at this point? I don't know, someone probably knows. But I don't, so. Yeah. Ah, there we go. There's a road that we can go on. Ah. <sighs> you know what the sad part is? In this world, Mystery Science Theater does not exist. That's the sad part here. Better not be a death claw. If you're ever up against a death claw, it is the fight of your life. Because they're fast, they're deadly. I mean, there's no better way to explain a death claw than they are just going to screw your day. It's basically if you combined. Let's see here. It's basically if you combined Wolverine with the Hulk. You're just screwed at that point. Don't have to walk the whole road here. Isn't there a skill? I could have sworn there was some sort of skill that I got where it just showed me everything. It shows you everything on the map so that you could just go to it and then instantly get. What? You would still get the XP for going to those places. There's nothing here. <gasps> oh no, there's Death Claws! Death claws! Death claws! No! 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 Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god! They're everywhere! No! No! Running for my life. Oh my gosh. Oh god, they're here. Oh god, they're here. No. No. Please. Please. For the love of Stan Lee, please. Stop! Ow! No! Please! Let my people go! Ow! Ow! Come on! Oh my gosh, why? Ah, uh, no! No, no, no! Why can't I heal anymore? No, I want- I want to heal. Please. No! Freddie Mercury did not make it against the death claws. <laughs> How do you get there without, like, dying from those guys? Like, come on. Oh, here we go. Great. Great. Perfect idea. We cut through here. Skip the whole death clause and just skip the death clause entirely. Drink the vodka. 
Okay, where the heck is this place? Where the heck am I? Oh god, there's a train. There's trains. Oh, I know this place. Let's see, how far am I? She made too far. I just gotta go take the train. <laughs> take the huge cavern here. But like, oh my gosh, dude. Those death claws were just... Do you see how many they were? I thought I was close to just, you know. I mean, one of the most, one of the best ways to take care of death claws is just not to interact with them. Another way to do it is that you have a, uh, I don't know if this, if it was in three or, or is it in New Vegas? But there's this dart, right? This dart gun that you can make, and basically with this, you can, um, you basically can paralyze the death claw, paralyze its legs so it walks very slowly, and you just keep shooting him until he dies. Oh, look, it's something from a science film. Something really stupid. Ow. Die. 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 Just die. Just die. Gosh, why can't you just die? Oh, my goodness. Well, at least we found a park. Let's explore this for, like, two seconds. Wow, guys. Amazing. We're exploring a park. Well, where some people sleep at. There's enemies nearby. They're death claws. I don't want to be here. You know what? Let's just go. <laughs> let's just... Let's just go. Alright, so he gave us the rebreather that we can put on. Though it takes away our sunglasses, which sadly is sad, but... Eat the ant meat. Um, let's see here. What's the difference? What's the difference? Oh, it's not cooked. Is the thing okay? All right. Let's go float this plane. Or we're getting sixty frames per second. There we go. Under the sea. Leaving it under the sea. It took her that long to meet him? Really? Okay. Under the sea. Under the sea. I'm under the sea. We're all under the sea. Under the sea. We're still under the sea. Drowning in the sea. Bored in the sea. Dying in the sea. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like a little fish. Look, guys. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, the fish is gone! Amazing fish physics, guys. That's what matters in a shooter game. Amazing fish AI. What the heck is that? No, oh, that just looks like a piece of rock. Yeah, it's a piece of rock. I did, um... Uh, as a topic of discussion that we can talk about in there. Um... Uh, Seth actually told me about... Oh, there's the plane. Hold on. There's the plane. Seth actually told me that someone was recreating Fallout New Vegas entirely in Fallout 4. That right there is just amazing, and I will play it. And, a lot of, and I was thinking, maybe I'll make a playthrough of it. I'm like, no. I've already done a playthrough of, um, you know, Fallout New Vegas currently right now. Did I take the things to uplift this? How do I uplift this thing? I totally forgot how to do this quest. I, where do I attach it? They used to show, like, little things on the console. Like, where to attach them and everything. Guess I'll just keep looking around. Oh, there we go. See? Right there. Clear as... Clear. There we go.
Return to the shore. Just gonna return to these boats over here. Hopefully they'll allow me on the boat. Oh my gosh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Found a bunch of cabs. That's really cool. Wow. There we go. Time to see it float. I already am already on the shore. I'll just detonate it here. Where's the detonator? Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, the vodka wore off. Okay. Time to drink beer. Oh my gosh, why didn't the plane work? I did it from a different distance. Why is that so wrong? Look, I just don't want to deal with the death class, okay? There's a bunch of them out there. And I'm not ready to take on death claws. Because I'm pretty sure, no, there is a quest where you have to take on death claws. Like, there's no gain around it. There is a quest. Yeah, it's the it's the road one. That's why I like it. Because it's difficult, but I also hate it because of it being difficult. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we are. Have the detonator in my hand. Just gonna keep hitting it. Oh, there we go. We did it! Woo! What? Why are you saying not it? Why? What does he mean? Alright, let's save right here. Can we? Hopefully we can save. Uh, just in case that these are death claws and, you know... Death- Oh no, I hate these things! The worst- The worst that ever could happen is those things combining with a death claw. That is like the equivalent of putting alien and predator together. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, no. No! Don't touch me! Because their venom is awful. If there's multiple of them, then they will just put venom in you. It's the worst. It's something that I can make a joke of, but I'm not going to make a joke of- OH MY GOSH THERE'S A RAT! It's not hard. Well, I guess we can stop for food while we're here. <laughs> Bunch of caps, nice. Mm -hmm. What did you just say? <laughs> what? Um, guns one. Locking two, 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 one. There we go. I want the purified water, not the stupid. Ugh. I'll take the beer, though. <laughs> I mean, I'll take I'll take the beer. Why not? Boom. Anything else here? Bunch of knives. I've always wanted Fallout to be more of a survival game. I don't know why. I just feel like it'd be good in that aspect. Just like, oh, you go, you spawn in a random place, and that's how you just you do it from there. I honestly think that would be You're an awesome way of doing stuff, it, but oh no, not a lot of people would agree with me. Just spawn a random place and play the game from that. That should be just a mode, honestly. Because it gives you different, like, ways of playing the game. In my opinion, at least. Alright, well, we do need to actually eat something, so... Um... Alright, there we go. 
Alright, now let's go to the boomer guy and tell him, hey, I did your thing and, you know, beat the quest. And we have done everything. I'm pretty sure at that point you have done everything for these people. Um... Where's the vodka again? Right here. Thank you. Oh, I need to eat one more thing. Um... Um... Yeah, sure, why the heck not? Okay. Hopefully it lasts as long as I want it to. Hey! Hey, man, hey. I did it. It's going to be a dream come true once you've... Your plan where the plane floated up seemed to be intact. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you. The robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Okay, well, I'm glad to help. Hey. Alright, plenty of my intelligence skills. Hold on, because I actually want to do, be like, I'm going to do my intelligence skills. <laughs> my intelligence. Here. The alcohol is going to reduce that, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, shoot, how am I going to do this? Actually, hold on. If I give some of my stuff, because then I'll go down to 60. I'll give some of my stuff to my robot and other people, right? That should bring it down far enough to where I can be like, okay, yeah. You... Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do then, is we're gonna head out here. Fast travel. A lot of people are gonna be like, what's the point of this? I'm like, because I just, I want, I want the satisfaction knowing that I actually did it. <laughs> That I will get points for doing that. So then the beer should wear off once I go back to there. Not crashing my game, hopefully. And then I can walk over here. I still don't have the beer, right? No, I still have the beer. Okay. Um. How we do it we're very far? Like, very, very far, right? Where it should wear off, hopefully. There you go, it's wore off. And we go back to there, you can't pass travel by enemies. What enemies? Oh. These people. Okay. Come on! Can hit you with a tire iron. <laughs> well not even a tire iron, just a golf club in general. Ah! Oh, come on! My character's just mm. Why are they all over the place? I just want to fast travel back. Gosh darn it. Ah! Where are the other enemies? Come on. If I keep going in this direction, I'll just kill them. Little tiny geckos, are you kidding me? Oh. Look, it's pretty morbid, but it, hey. <laughs> Come on! Just let me go hey. back and do the stupid thing! Ah. Do that, you stupid bottle. <laughs> well, where are they? Come on. Oh my gosh! That's just killer, man. Alright, well, let's walk around a bit. Hopefully getting away from all the enemies in the entire gosh darn area. Alright, well, good. I can fast travel now. Stupid game. <laughs> ah, there we go. So now, I can have... How much intelligence do I have on me? Pretty sure it's just five, right? Yeah, five. And it's seven to pass it. So, I'm going to just... Let's see here. Nope. Nope. Come on. 
Give me something to boost my intelligence. Come on. Oh, plus two intelligence? Ah, oh, shoot. I'm addicted to Mentats now, gosh darn it. It's going to be a dream come true. That's tremendous. How exactly do you get the plan? I just told you, the robots are going to- Are you planning to use the things you draw? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. Ah, okay. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Okay, I'm glad to help. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Well, guess I'll go talk to Pearl and end the video here. Gosh darn it, man. <sighs> All that work for just nothing. <laughs> it's like I didn't even get a boost or anything. It was just an intelligence check to be like, oh, well, what are you going to do? I thought it was going to be like persuasive, like, hey, you know, this is a stupid decision, but no. <laughs> no. Hey. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? I've spoken to Lil, the, the B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. There may be a battle in the near future at Hoover Dang. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I am idealized now, as I should be. Alright, well, now before we complete the whole video, Turn the jack. Oh, gosh darn it. Go get the quest points and all that. But no, what I was going to say is that we need to go find the stupid gun here before we end things. I'm just going to tile this video. Um, let's see here. I'll probably tile it Death Claws, Attack, attack Death Claws, Attack, and uh, Fallout 4 New Vegas. Or Fallout 4 into New Vegas. One of the two. Hey, whoa guys, what are you doing right over there? Hello, it's great to finally meet you. Hi there, it's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while? Oh my gosh. So we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. He's <laughs> been riding asses again. Better lay low. <laughs> uh... Well, that's just great. <laughs> Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Okay, welcome. See ya. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Yeah, uh, according to you, when you two looked at me at the same time, comedic gold. Alright. Depend on me. Alright, well, now it's time to find that gun that I was looking for the whole time. <laughs> the whole point of us coming here. Where would it be? Pearls, oh. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. 
Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. Hi. Sorry to break in. He sounded truly riveting. I don't want to keep you much longer, but I'd like to make a counter-suggestion. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. I won't bring it to any of you, so just shut up! Okay. <sighs> Gosh darn it, I hate these people. <laughs> I'm going to go into Pearl's barracks. Oh no. Wait, what do I need? Let's take the two lanes. She's gonna be pissed at me now. <laughs> I can tell you that. She's going to be pissed at me now. I'm like a robot. Cool. Wait, where is it? Oh, what is... Far away, alright. People are like, aren't you gonna end the video now? No. We are grabbing this weapon. Then ending the video. There better be. N oh my gosh! If there's death claws there, then we're ending the video. Mintats withdrawal. Oh shoot! Did I just take a bunch of mintats? All right. Well, time to use fixer. How much of it do I have? Oh, I should be fine. There should be a thing where you can be addicted to fixer. Then you're just screwed. <laughs> All right, let's make our way over here then. Gosh darn it, man. Ah, oh, gosh. How far is it? Oh my goodness, pretty far. Head over here. I don't know, hopefully soon we'll be fine and dandy. I mean, we'll have enough points. We'll have enough points soon so that speech is all the way up and then we can just put points into other things. Like lock picking and science, for instance, because I keep having trouble with those. Alright. How far the heck... Where is this thing? There's death claws there, then we're screwed. That's just a, that's just a fact. Alright, let's take a peek. A quick little detour. Ah, I didn't fall for your trap. Your bear trap. Well, it's about damn time. What took you... Oh. Oh? I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. You sound like you're eager to die. There's a twitch in my trigger finger. I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old, and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. You served in the military? Uh, yeah. It was a long time ago. Things were better back then. Am I by yourself? What do you want to know? So are you a cannibal? <laughs> I'm not saying. It's part of my mystique, after all. Sounds like there's an interesting story behind it. <laughs> the truth of it is that I did cut out a raider's heart. But only took a bite to mess with his buddies. 
They had me surrounded, and I went with the first thing that came to mind. Some ran, and the rest were startled just long enough. Love out here by yourself? Sure do. Had a wife for a while. Tribal girl, really pretty eyes. But she's been gone a long time now. I don't... I don't... Well... Your sergeant... Nah. He was a drill instructor I knew. He was also the meanest bastard I've ever known. Once he caught this private out of uniform, an old Dornan went off on the most ear-blistering rant known to man. It was inspiring. Goodbye. Be seeing you. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it, like, gives you a bonus for killing him or what, but... Oh my goodness. Just hope we don't run into any death claws, otherwise we're, yeah, like I said, screwed. Radiation. Alright, I got ghosts. That's a big one! And just died like that, apparently. Find Vault 34. Alright, well, I found it. Cool. Oh, wait, no, this is the vault. Okay. I think we'll do this some other time then. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, we'll do this some other time.